Hi, my name is Paul Van Heren, and I'm the technical marketing lead. Today, we're going to look at the toolbar inside GeoProtect's web. Let's have a look. So here we are in the GeoProtect web designer interface. I'm going to show you a few options that you can configure inside the toolbar. Uh, first, I'm going to show you what the toolbar looks like uh, when we begin. Uh, so we have a drawing tool that has a sub menu here. I'll show you how to configure that. Uh, clear markup, identify, and print. So these are just the default tools that are used. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you how uh, it uh, just first off when you make a change, just like any of the, any other change that you make inside your configuration, uh, you can see those changes right away inside your preview. So I'm actually just going to delete this identify tool. And you can see right away that that identify tool is no longer there. Uh, I'm going to show you the sub menu here. So you can see that the drawing tool has a sub menu as we saw here in the, uh, in the menu. So we have this sort of configuration. So inside here, uh, you're able to go in and configure those sub menu items uh, individually. So in this case, you can see the draw, the point, and that sort of thing. So I'm actually going to rebuild this identify tool using the, the sub menus. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So I uh, sub menu here is identify and uh, use this menu to view identify tools. And now I can uh, add uh, menu items as I see fit. So each one of these is gonna have an individual name. So rectangle, won't give it a description here. Uh, identify. And then I'm going to choose rectangle as the as the tool itself. I'm just going to add another one here, so you can see it's now added to the sub menu. And add another one here. This one's going to be called point. Identify again, and I can choose that uh, point. All right, so I have a couple of menu options there now. So now I have a second sub menu identify item uh, with uh, those individual items there, as well those individual tools. Uh, okay, so that's adding a sub menu. Uh, I can show you how uh, tools can actually be used to toggle actually between two tools. So um, I'm actually going to uh, create a new menu item. Uh, I'm going to call it identify again. Uh, actually, in the title, sorry. Identify. Just identify again. And I'm going to choose the can be toggled option here. So as soon as I enable that option, now I've, I've presented with a default state and an alternate state. So my default state is identify rectangle. I'm fine with that. Uh, my alternate state, though, is going to be clear results. So the idea here is I click uh, to click a, uh, to create a square to, uh, using the identify tool. Uh, and the secondary option will be and allow me to clear the results that I've just returned. So I'm just going to say clear results again. This time it's going to be the actual commands. You can see that I'm uh, auto completing here for me to find the, the, the appropriate command. So now I can test that. So um, I'm going to use this identify tool create my square on the map my, to identify on the map my results display and you can see that my uh, my menu has now changed to clear results and now my results are gone so I can use that menu item uh, again just to show you here and you can see as soon as the uh, results appear my clear results uh, uh, sub menu appears or sorry uh, toggled menu appears so kind of cool there's different different uh, ways you can use that tool. Um, what I also want to show is, is adding a, a workflow or even a report. So uh, just showing that functionality. So if I run workflow, uh, you can see that I'm going to run that again here. As soon as I hit run workflow, the run workflow command, I'm presented with all of the workflows that are in my ArcGIS Online uh, organizational account. So this is my my content specifically. I could change it to my shared with me. So this is all the content that's shared uh, with my organization. So I can choose my, my appropriate workflow. You can do the same thing with reports. So report. And again, I see all the reports that are in my content and the reports that are shared with me. Finally, um, 
We're going to show you the drawing tool, and I'm going to show you uh, just the, the the customized menu. So you're able to actually uh, customize your arguments that you want to use for individual tools. So if you're sort of comfortable with uh, getting into the code a little bit and configuring your options, you can customize your command uh, to define your, your arguments a little bit more uh, specifically. So it uh, allows you to do that. So that's it. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this uh, gives you a better, uh, better insight on what, uh, what you can do with the toolbar and uh, have yourself a great day.